Just hanging about in the walk-in fridge. <laughs> Coffee. Right, so this video is the beginning of a new series. Uh, I'm gonna start a vlog because a lot of you guys have asked for it. You liked the vlog that we did about coming in here and so I'm starting to do that. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, like I'm just beginning to get my head around vlogging, uh, but you need to be patient with me. Uh, but yeah, this is the first one. Yeah. So the vlogs are gonna be various and uh, lots of different subjects. I think I live in an incredible city and an incredible city of food. And so I'm gonna take you into London to find out incredible stories and for me to share my London with you. So that's definitely gonna be part of it. It's also a way for me to answer a lot of the questions that you guys have put in the comments box. Um, you're always asking me questions about various things. One of them was, am I gonna get a van? You all thought the best move was off the street and into a, a van. And in many ways, it would have been lovely we looked at it and it just didn't make sense with where we were. It's actually really expensive. In the UK, it's not like the States that's really set up to accommodate that food truck culture. Um, however, we are looking at it. We'd really like to go on a tour. So if you think it's still a good idea, do let me know in the comment box. But roughly the plan at the moment is maybe to see somehow to get a van for the spring or summer and go on a journey. The problem is I've got to work out how to pay for it. And then uh, I'm answering some of your questions. So Steve says, you look happier in your kitchen. Steve, my brother, I am so happy in this kitchen. It's totally transformed things. Cooking on the street, as we've said, was really, really tough. Great fun as well. But it meant that there was a load of things that I couldn't do. Now, I'm really, really beginning to get into things. But don't worry, it's still very much food busker. Let me show you. Boom sign, no power. On air sign. No power. I'm getting my power from next door, Abdul's foam shop. Hiya. Health and safety happiness. Meat fridge from hell. Now at least we have a wash up, even if it does look like a scene from Hostel. Now the culprit for all this darkness has been the electrics from the late 14th century. Yes, I know they didn't have electrics in the 14th century. Now, one of the other things that's changed in my life that's enabled me to make this big commitment, because this is a big commitment from a time perspective and from a money perspective. And uh, fortunately, I've been able to step back from my other role, my other job, my other business, which is called Crew Cafe. I'm still involved. It's an absolutely cool business. We make, you know, I fly around the world, finding incredible coffee beans, helping the business to create videos and content and products. Um, but it's doing really well and it's enabled me to be able to step back and give the time that Food Busker needed to really Im take that to the next level. You know, one of the things that we're going to be doing is lots of different videos and different content. And I've now got the time to do that. So, uh, yeah, like just, it's great. Now, talking about time and money, one of the key ways that enables me to pay for this studio and to create the standard of content that I do is that I work with brands. And I know that's controversial for some of you and I feel like I owe it to you to explain why I do it and my thinking around it. Number one, I only work with brands that I really believe in, that are doing a good job or have got a really good product, something that I'm excited about and that I wanna share that with you. Two, I love working with startups or ethical brands, people that are trying to change the world of food and drink, people that are trying to do something really good or have got really great artisan credentials. And three, brands that 
are existing brands, brands that have been out there for a long time and that they're trying to up their game or they're doing something creative or different. But fundamentally, I decide what happens on Food Busker. I decide what recipes we do. I love working with brands and them bringing me a product and them setting me a challenge, but it's always to fit into those real key elements of Food Busking, which is it's a quality product, that it's got some know-how, and it's something that you're gonna really enjoy. Now, a bunch of you uh, mentioned when I made the big change about Patreon, and you were suggesting that I should get on there. I really, really, like, I'm so grateful for your encouragement and your support. I couldn't do this channel without your love and with your commitment to like the subscription and just like the comments and the fact that you really dig what I do, like genuinely respect and thank you. And thank you for that suggestion. I'm gonna check it out and hopefully we'll have something to show you in the coming weeks and months about what we're doing with that. And then a little heads up about what's coming on the channel in the next couple of months. Uh, December, January, cold months. So I'm going to hit you with some winter warmers. I'm going to hit you with some serious comfort food, some serious hearty food. And also a lot of the dishes that I've avoided doing on the street because the circumstances didn't allow me to do them. A lot of English dishes that needed a good oven, they're coming at you in the next couple of months. And then finally, guys, I'm changing the upload time to seven o'clock. It's to accommodate some of my uh, audience over in the States. Uh, I'm gonna just try it, see how it goes. Let me know if the new publishing time works for you. Okay, so that's the first vlog done. Uh, I'm gonna try and get one out to you every month. Hopefully get to one a week. Yeah, this is a bit weird. See you later. <gasps> what are you two doing? Uh, can I get some uh, popcorn? Popcorn, yeah. Popcorn, yeah, yeah. This is just over the road from uh, the place, and uh, yeah, man. Small, a small one. Yeah, so sweet. Ah, uh, sweet. Sweet. Sweet popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get this at Broadway Market, do you? Cheers, Cheers mate. Cheers.